I've been getting some questions about this AM transmitter, which uh, I enjoy and uh, am glad to help if I can. And the particular questions that I've been getting is about the coil and the capacitor. And this is coming from a person who's fairly new to electronics, and I must remember that that is happening every day. And I certainly remember uh, when I was new to electronics. And what we'll take a look in this video is that particular tank circuit with the coil PC70 oscillator coil and that variable capacitor that's from about 495 picofarads to about 48 picofarads. Now, that's what we're going to key in on right here, just that. And I'm going to be using a signal generator, a frequency counter, and an oscilloscope, and all three of those are going to be all hooked up in parallel right across this tank circuit. And we'll be able to see what happens when I change the, ca the variable capacitor in this tank circuit. And then I'll change the signal generator. And what we'll be looking for is a peak. And that peak is where the AM transmitter would be transmitting, or very close to it. Of course, there's a little bit more capacitance when it's in the circuit, but uh, it'll be very close in transmitting where the frequency counter indicates. I've got... Uh, this variable capacitor here and I've got it hooked up to my meter capacitor meter and you can see that uh, it's about 88 picofarads and our coil is right here and everything is going to be in parallel I take the capacitor meter off and put this in parallel with the coil. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn up the signal generator until the oscilloscope peaks here. Yep, it's going down, going up, up, going down, uh, let's see, okay, getting it about in the middle there, let's try that again, oops, yep. Yeah, it's going down there, up, about there. Okay, so it says on the frequency meter here, 775 kilohertz. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to Try and hit the other scale, or the other end of the scale, I should say. Come on. There we go. And get this as high a capacitance as I can. 
go. About 500. Again, put this in the parallel circuit. And do the same thing with the oscillator. It's going way down there on the high side now. And now we're going up and up. Okay, so we'll try and hit this about in the middle here. That's even flat topping a little bit. Turn down the generator a little bit. There we go. There's a good example of why you don't want too strong a signal when you're aligning your radio. There we go. That's about in the middle. And now the frequency is 500 and 96 kilohertz. So that's what the tank circuit does and that is most of the AM band. I'm limited uh, on this demonstration with my uh, frequency generator but that's okay you got the idea and that's what this tank circuit does for tuning. Now, if we would leave these two just like that and put it back into the transmitter circuit, we would find that it was transmitting very close to this. There, it would be a little difference because of the capacitance there's a little bit more capacitance in the transmitter circuit, but it would be very, very, very close. This is the first time that I actually took a tank circuit out of one of the circuits that I built and took a look at it. All the other times have been just tank circuits not really associated with a working circuit. Thanks for watching.